Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about WhatsApp and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you change the notification sound for WhatsApp? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to go ahead and update or change the WhatsApp notification sound? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you run a business and you need the WhatsApp sound to be very specific since your contacts and customers get a hold of you through WhatsApp. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the WhatsApp. It's not handled in the settings for your iPhone. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to go ahead and open up my WhatsApp now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened my WhatsApp. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to change the WhatsApp notification sound, what you need to do is click on the settings button down here on the bottom right. It looks kind of like a little gear icon. Once you do that, you're going to see a drop down menu and in order to update the notification sound for your WhatsApp, go ahead and click on this button here called notifications. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to get a few different options. So you can actually change into different types of sounds in your WhatsApp. The first one is going to be your message notifications. So this is basically when your phone is locked and you hear that you get a WhatsApp notification, that's going to be right here called message notifications. You just click on that and then you can go ahead and change to something that you like. So I'm going to leave mine on note, which is the default. And then you click on save. The next one is if you are parts of groups, you can go ahead and change the group notification sound. So that way it's separate than whatever you have for your typical messages. That's up to you. And then lastly, you get your in-app notifications. So this is, for example, my WhatsApp is open right now. If I get a notification, you can go ahead and click in here and then you can allow sounds or go ahead and turn off the sounds. This is while you're in the WhatsApp application. So there you have it, guys. That's three different ways how you can go ahead and change your WhatsApp sound notifications. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.